Hey guys, welcome back to Berenza's Math Club. Today we'll be learning how to convert percents to fractions. So let's go ahead and say that we have the percent 39%. So the main thing that we need to focus on here is the meaning of percent. So as we all know, the definition of percent is simply out of 100. So percent is out of 100. So the total amount there could be is 100. So in this case we have 39%. 39% means 39 out of 100 parts. So if we're trying to write this as a fraction, we know that in, in a fraction, we know that our denominator is supposed to be the total, right? Well in this case our total is 100. So if we write this as 39 over 100, it makes sense because our denominator is our total, it's out of 100, and our numerator is the parts. So it's 39 parts out of, out of 100 parts in total. So 39% is equal to 39 out of 100 or 39 over 100, which can also be read or pronounced as 39 hundredths. All right, so this was really easy, right? Let's go ahead and do another one. So this time, let's say that we have 26%. All right, so we're gonna do the exact same thing. We know our denominator is always going to be 100, right? So it's gonna be 26 parts out of 100. Now, we have our fraction, so it's 26 out of 100, but remember this, it must be simplified, okay? That's one thing you're gonna hear all of your teachers say, simplify your fractions. So 26 over 100. What number is 26 divisible by? That is the number 100 also has to be divisible by that number. So let's say the easiest number that anybody's gonna do is going to be the number two, right? So divide both the numerator and the denominator by the number two. We get 26 divided by 2 is 13, 100 divided by 2 is 50. There is no other number that both 13 and 50 are divisible by. Therefore, this is our most simplified ver for version or form of 26 hundredths. It is 13 out of 50, or 13 over 50, you know. So that means 26% is equal to 13 out of 50. So in this case, the total parts is 50, and there's 13. Uh, it's 13 parts out of 50 parts. But really, 13 out of 50 is equal to 26 over 100, right? But it just has to be simplified. Okay, now let's go ahead and do another example. So let's say that we have the percentage 416 percent. Now wait a minute. We thought that a percent can only go up to 100 because percent means 100. So is it possible to have percentages that are over 100? Well, yes, it is possible. So here we have 416%. And we can still convert this percent into a fraction. We use the same way. However, the only minor change there is here is that whenever you have a percent that is over 100%, all you have to do is, re um, you, you have to kind of know in the back of your head that your fraction is going to be a mixed number. And a mixed number, technically, it is a fraction, however, there's a whole number in front of it. So let's go ahead and change this percent to a fraction. All right, now the easiest way, I think, to change this percent into a fraction is first putting it like as a fraction with a numerator and denominator. Now we know that a denominator has to be 100, right? Because our fraction, when we're changing it, our denominator, the total is gonna be 100, right? So we're gonna write this as 416 over 100. Now this is an improper fraction, so what we have to do is next, we know that whenever we divide a number by 100, we know that our decimal point in our, num in our numerator, yes, or our dividend, is going to move two places from right to left because there are two zeros in 100. So we're gonna move it one, two, and we're gonna land right here. That means 416 divided by 100 is equal to 4.16. So we just changed it into a decimal now. Now it's gonna be easier to write this as a mixed number because we know that when we have a decimal, so we have 4.16, 
4 is going to be our whole number, so this will stay the same. So we're going to have 4. This point 16, we can simply, we know that our denominator is still going to be 100, right? So we're going to keep the same denominator because remember there are a total of 100 parts still, even though we have a 4 whole. And point 16. So point 16, once we have written the denominator of 100, if you kind of think of it like this, the decimal point is replacing the 1. The other, the, we have two other digits, right? So we have 1 and 6. Those two digits are being replaced by the two zeros. So now that we have our denominator, all we have to do is write that number down, which is 16. So that means 4.16 written as a fraction is 4 and 16 hundredths. Now remember, we can always reduce our fractions, which is a good idea. So if we reduce 4 and 16 hundredths, remember the whole number stays the same. We just have to divide 16 and 100 both by a number that both of these are divisible by. So let's try the number 4. So we have to do the same thing to both numerator and denominator. So 16 divided by 4 gives us 4, and 100 divided by 4 gives us 25. And we cannot further reduce this, so that is our final simplified answer, which is 4 and 4 25ths. All right, so that's all I have for this video on converting percentages into fractions. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.